showed that to you. Did you take my phone and look at it? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. showed it to me. I really don't think I did because I wanted it to be a surprise. What colors does it have then? Tell me. Yellow, purple, and blue. Oh my gosh. It really does have gold, pink, and purple. Gold, pink, and purple. Yeah, it has a lot of colors. So we are on our way to go pick up the new Tesla. It's going to be interesting because um, actually Yaya's on vacation this week, which means I, uh, well, I, I don't, I had to take the kids with me basically, but either way, I still would not have had someone to bring the car back because everybody is unavailable. So I'm gonna actually have them like send it to my house. <laughs> it's just like a last resort. They're gonna tow it back. So we're gonna get the, the wheels switched over from Falcor then I'm gonna move the seats over to the new car, which I will debut the name. I've already picked the name. I figured it out. It hit me and I was like, we have to do that. All right, see you there. See the car. We're pulling up to it after this light. We're so excited. Okay, we are in the new car. It's incredible. What do you think, Harper? <laughs> you love it? Is it everything you hoped it would be? Uh-huh. Yeah, pretty amazing, huh? All right, here we go. We're driving. We're driving. Ah! <laughs> well, guys, I have picked up my brand new Tesla Thanos. I hope you guys love the name. And I thought I would share with you guys, I'm all dressed like slummed up in some black clothing because I'm about to go apply some ceramic coating to the interior. I did not have EVS do it this time, um, just for timing purposes. I didn't have time to wait for that to be done. So this is what everyone and their dog uses. And it's like thousands of Am positive Amazon reviews. Everyone uses this for their Tesla, specifically their white leather interior, but it obviously works on other colors as well. So um, yeah, I'll leave a link to this in the description box and one entire thing should cover the several coats needed to do. And hopefully it doesn't take me too long. I'm guessing about an hour. I am hopeful it will take about an hour. It has been a crazy week. Mad props to anybody who holds down a stay-at-home 
job and takes care of their little ones under five because it has been the week of me getting absolutely nothing done. Thankfully, I had pre-filmed videos from last week because I knew, no, get your finger, I just cleaned that. I just cleaned that. Get your fingerprints off. Falcor is being returned from EVS because I had to go back there to switch out some TPMS sensors, tire pressure monitoring system. Um, apparently Tesla upgraded their tire pressure sensors from my Raven model to now the new refreshed model. Um, and so they're on different frequencies and the new model won't pick it up. The old one picked up the new sensors for some reason because I basically I switched wheels. So I swapped the wheels out. And in doing so, it couldn't recognize the sensor, so it was getting an error. So anyway, we drove over there, got both of the cars over there, and now one of the guys from EBS is taking a uh, Falcor back. But this car, I went ahead, as you saw, ceramic coated it. He's a beauty. It's still a boy. It's still, it's Thanos, so it's gotta be a boy, give it with that name, but like, oh, the, the color, oh, just like, it looks so different from so many different angles. Like it looks gold right here and then goes to pink and then purple, but then in other parts, at other angles, it's blue and it's so sparkly. I can't even, I can't even. HB, once and for all, rimmed my, um, curbed my rim, my, my wheel here, uh, almost 50% again. So I'm having Dr. Wheel come to fix it on Monday and then everything will be perfect and I will be able to shoot some content and get all that juicy B-roll footage that you've probably already seen um, because it will all be fixed. So by that time, that video, by the time you've seen this video, everything's been fixed. But I didn't wanna get these beautiful shots of it with like <laughs> curb rash. I really don't curb my wheels, but HB does. Does Papa bang up my wheels or does Mama bang up her wheels? Mm-hmm. She said Papa. She knows. Harper knows. So, I'm gonna sit down and chat with you guys also about the car and the experience and the differences, but we'll do that maybe over some B-roll footage to make it a little bit more interesting. I have some unboxings to do with you. One thing I purchased from a fellow Hermes lover um, and you guys need to follow her on Instagram. I will leave her Instagram handle down below, but she's Tati in the city and I love her and I met her in New York during the Luxury Promise event. She found this online and she didn't wasn't gonna keep it and asked if I wanted to buy it from her and I said yes. So um, it's sort of a rare item, which goes perfectly with one of my bags. So I'm gonna show you that. And then I picked up a couple of things um, also from Hermes, you know, my favorite store, also from there. Uh, last week when I went to, uh, took my kids around uh, this past week shopping and stuff. And I am planning possibly some international travel again, kind of unexpectedly, not for the best circumstances, but we'll see. Um, might have to go back to Norway, um, but I don't want to talk about that. So anyway, I have been working on Amazon Prime Day content for you guys. I've been working, I've been thinking about Nordstrom, but I just don't really feel all that excited about the Nordstrom sale this year. I don't know why. Are y'all excited about it? If y'all want me to do some content, I can look into it, but I sort of kind of don't want to if you guys are not. Or I'm personally more interested in the Amazon sale, but I know that everybody has different emotions and feelings about different sales and stores, so let me know. Um, Tomorrow is my first full day back at work, so I will be working and have childcare starting tomorrow. So we have been so busy. Oh, tomorrow I'm getting my wheel fixed and then I can finally start filming Tesla content because I picked up my new Tesla last week. Actually, I picked it up the day after we got back from vacation and then I dropped it off at EVS Motors to get completely customized, just like we did Falcor and I finally picked it up about a week and a half later from the shop from EBS on Wednesday. And there's only one thing, one minor thing that needs to get fixed on it from the way it came from Tesla, which if you don't know, Tesla's come with certain defects. It's ridiculous, I know. 
stupid I wish we didn't have to do it didn't have to be that way but you as the consumer buy it and then you put in like a service appointment ticket to get whatever cosmetic features and things and non-working things fixed with Falcor it was a nightmare with this one I'm hoping it's a lot better the build quality seems a lot better I am in love with it I almost didn't accept delivery because I almost was like eh, I don't need it I love Falcor whatever but with gas prices being the way they are and the amount of miles my husband's driving on a lease, the Volvo is a lease, he's so over mileage that I was like, it's better if we actually just buy you a car. So I'll take the new one and you take Falcor until your Cybertruck comes in. And so that way we just have two purchased vehicles. So purchase the vehicle and it's amazing and the color is out of this world and the name is perfect and i'm just gonna do a whole video dedicated to that so i can't wait to show you guys that um it's been like my luckiest month ever june was incredible <laughs> just put it that way may and june may and june so i will check back in with you guys in a little bit and do a little couple of unboxings well guys um it's just a little awkward because i'm not used to talking about stuff like this um, it's been a long time since I've lost anyone in my life, but we found out this morning that at around 4 a.m. our time or 11 a.m. Norwegian time, grandfather passed away at the age of 99. Um, so this day has been, I mean, I put some content live because I still have stuff that I need to put out and I have a giveaway for you guys on Instagram. Um, uh, but which by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, you probably already missed that. I'm so sorry about that, but it, the way that these vlogs go out um it's just it's probably already over but you're welcome to check and see um but anyway he was just hasn't been doing very well in the last week and i thought he had turned a corner and he was doing better and then better and then better and then all of a sudden in the last 24 hours he was like not responsive so he, it was nothing in particular just old age everything started shutting down and i guess it was just his time um and i'm grateful that he went peacefully and that he was in comfort he was in some palliative care because he had just lost a lot of weight in the last couple of months since we saw him. He's lost like, oh, he had lost a huge amount of weight. So my dad went up there to see him, I think a week ago, which is good. I'm so glad he did that. And he stayed up there about a week. And then um, now we're going back. So uh, my parents are going uh, going on Saturday. And for a while there, I wasn't really sure if I was going to go. Because I, I was like, man, I've just, you know, I mean, the things that go through your head, right? Like I've just, you know, I've just been on a, on, on a long trip away from my kids. And I don't, I'm going to miss them. And I have a lot of work to catch up on. And um, they're just, I'm so behind on work. But at the same time, it's my grandfather. I, I got to go. I got to go. Uh, I know I don't have to go, but I want to. And um, it's something that, you know, it's the, it's my last grandparent, you know, so. Um, and one of the two that really meant something to me, as you guys know, my Houston grandparents, we didn't have a relationship with, so. But yeah, so I'm, I'm like sad, but I'm also like really happy for him because he's in a better place now. He is limp free, limp free. He limped pretty much all his life um, and was very self-conscious about it um because he had polio an incredible man so many talents so such an incredible person um so what a, like a full life he lived if you have if you want to check out my post that i did in dedication to him i worked on that today and i posted that um but he was just a man of many talents and so um i don't have the ability to go um when my parents are going and there's an SAS strike, the pilots are on strike. Anyway, it's just like, it's a kind of a nightmare to try and get there right now. So I am going, but I'm gonna go for seven days instead of like the nine or 10 that my parents are going. Um, still a long time to be away from my kids and I like, I don't really wanna go, but I wanna go obviously. You know what I mean? It's like sort of a weird conundrum of emotions. <laughs> I'm also like haven't completely processed it. I, I kind of teared up when I was doing his post and looking through his photos and stuff on Instagram, but you know, these things take time. I really thought he was gonna live to 100 and I thought we had more time. I thought we would get to introduce Juliet to him. So I'm really glad that Harper got to meet him though. And she remembers him. She was like uh, all of 18 months when she met him for the first and last time. And um, that was in a pre-COVID world. And it, well, if COVID hadn't happened, we probably would have had much more opportunities for them to hang out, but say lovey. My carry-on that I'm thinking about just traveling with a carry-on and um, yeah. So let's, let's do this, let's do this. You're going to freak. Also, I'm gonna show you this cute, cute little like beach birkin. 
Oh my gosh, look, you're like a rolling stand on my luggage. This is so awesome. Why haven't I thought of this before? <laughs> so awesome. This little um, beach Birkin thing. How cute is that? It's like um, burlap. It's like really rough. All right, so let's go through the first one. If you can hear a noise in the background, that's Dr. Wheel repairing my wheel that HB curb murdered and I need to get footage of, of my new car. Um, so you have to watch that video if you haven't watched it. My new Tesla Model X. Long story short, because I know how to ramble, um, this transferred the wheels over. I swapped the wheels over because I like mine better. So I took them off of Falcor and put them on this car, but those are the wheels. One of them is the one that HB literally murdered in another drive-thru. I think it was the Shipley's drive-thru again. So I said, that's it, you're never driving my car. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I gave you chances. You have you have squandered your chances. You have taken the chances and squandered them. All right, so let's get in. So this was a DM purchase through my friend from my friend Tati, who I can now call my friend because I've met her in person. She's a lovely human being, um, and she is an Hermes lover, just like myself, and um, and a collector. And um, she is just like, I mean, you talk about people you meet and you just remember their personality because their personality stands out so much. She, not only is she gorgeous, but she's also got like the be best and biggest personality ever. We hit it off. I feel like I did. Maybe, I don't know, Tati, if you're watching, maybe you agree. I don't know. I hope so. But anyway, so in here is the receipt and everything. And then there is this, which is called a sights. I'm not really sure because this is my first piece of exotic on anything, but apparently if you're going to ship it or take it, I don't know if you have to bring it with you if you like bring it overseas. I'm not really sure to be honest with you. I don't know how it works. If you know, let me know. But because it has some exotic, a touch of exotic on it, it has to have that little thingy document. I think if you sell it or if you like ship it or something, you're supposed to have it. Allow me to introduce to you the pegasus oh god i don't know what it's called it's a pegasus so black which is extremely rare plus it's an exotic and tatiana you're probably watching the, this and you're gonna see how excited i get because it is so rare it's a rodeo pegas mm charm in noir 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 which is all black so that is the receipt and then I wonder what is this matte alligator? Certificate for re-exportation. I just wanna know, like, am I allowed to open this? It's stapled. Alligator, Mississippiensis. Cool. I'm gonna keep that receipt, keep the sights with it. Um, but this is gonna go probably on one of my black Birkins. Let's go see. Well, I actually think that she would do better on my newer Birkin 30 with rose gold just because she's so special and this is so special. Oh yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be. So I think that that looks so freaking good. The black on black. And actually the um, the MM size is actually really perfect for the 30. I wouldn't go any larger. I don't even know if they do go larger, but that is so elegant and stunning. That makes me want to put it on right away and use it this week. But look how beautiful. Pegasus is a very rare charm. So I'm very happy and thankful to Tati for selling it to me when she um, for sure could have sold it el anywhere else at a premium. So thank you so much to Tati for that. That was really, really sweet. So I'm gonna put that away and show you the next pieces. This, this is a massive bag. Massive. Look at this. So we've got a receipt. boxes in here. One is massive and one is not so massive. No, these are not bags, okay? So I'm just I'm just gonna let you know these are not bags. Um, these are both shoes, but I think you're really gonna like them because they are very me, but also like they're solving a problem that I've been having all my life with my legs and boots. So let's go 
go ahead and get into the first one. I'm very excited. This is so on brand for me. This is very me. This is very me. So when she, my sales associate at Hermes was like, uh, what do you think about these? These seem very you. I was like, guess the hardware, guess the hardware. So these are that Kelly shoe. I forget what they're called. I'll put the name of it on the screen. But I love how they always get wrapped in this beautiful leather thing. But these are an all white, very casual shoe from Hermes. All leather, upper sole, rubber bottom, the H, you know, the subtle H's everywhere. I just love that. It's like diagonal H's, the Hermes logo here, and then just all white. Ah, uh, just such a stunning classic shoe. And then you've got that Kelly detail, but then look at the buckle. It's in rose gold. The white with the rose gold is just super, super pretty. And I cannot wait to wear these because they're very cool for like summer, even with like winter whites. I'm just very, very excited about these. They're so cute. And then I'm done for shoes because that's that's enough after this. These are this is just the the Hermes shoe collection is growing by leaps and bounds. Now this is not something I can wear yet, but because they've just came in and she told me these would be coming and she was like hold out for these because I told you I bought the jumping boots, the Hermes jumping boots, and then returned them because they just don't fit on my calf. My calves are I'm short. I'm like long torso, short legs. And so my like knee hits much faster in a boot. Like it, like, I don't know if I had distributed the weight of my leg in a longer leg, it would be a lot skinnier leg, right? So I'm fine with it. I don't, I don't mind it. I've gotten over that. I've gotten over like feeling self-conscious about my legs. I'm happy with where they are. And I think they're very strong legs and that's fine. Um, but boot shopping. I have to get like a wide calf boot or nothing. And so basically I've just given up. And she was like, just wait for these because these will fit you. So they're coming out with a tall version of the so-and-so, which is a boot she likes. And it is a sock boot, but they're coming out with a tall version for the fall. And I said, okay, she texted me. She was like, they're here. I was like, ah. So I tried these on and I'm normally a six to a six and a half and I picked these up in a six. I could have gotten away with either, but there was a little bit more slippage in the back, whereas the six was completely snug. So this is the sock boot. It's called the Fontaine. Look at how elegant that is. It's so pretty. And if the camera will pick up on it, it's got this detail of basically this like braided effect and then the trim up top sort of like a cable trim. I don't know if this is showing up properly. Leather sole rubber on the heel, uh, stacked wooden heel. The gorgeous Hermes logo here, and that is on the outside of the boot. And then a leather trim that goes all the way up to the pull tab. Just stunning, the most comfortable pair of boots I've ever worn. I walked around the entire store in these and they are so comfortable. So I'm really, really excited to wear these. So now to get rid of these boxes, I don't have any more room for them.